So, uh, we are talking today about how we met. Yes. <laughs> so let's just jump right into it. All right. Action. <laughs> Hola! Hey, what's up, guys? Hi. What's up? <laughs> I guess you start every video with <laughs> 2020! 2020! 2020! Año Capicuo. Good energy for everybody. Every, so. Everything's Capicuo for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's good energy. I, get a, I get a text all the time if it's 111, if it's 222, I, I get texts like, oh, it's Capicuo, te amo. Yeah, 12, 12. It's always a good time to say I love you and yeah. wish good energy, right? right? right it's cool. Yeah. I, I enjoy texts from you anyway, no matter what they are. Yeah. So, uh, we are talking today about... How we met. Yes. My name is Victor. And I'm Torian. We tried to do videos in, during the last month, but it's... It was hectic. <sighs> December. So crazy. We... You would think when you have time off and you don't have to go to work that you would have more time to record. No. Not the case. When the Thanksgiving Reyes catching you, it's a lot of pies, a lot of drinks everywhere. A lot of alcohol. Which is actually why we're not drinking this month. Woohoo! And we will have a video about it. Uh, Bruno, it's buttering me right here. Bruno. Bruno. Alright, back down. Okay. <laughs> so. We'll, we'll see if we actually make the full 30 days. I'm pretty confident in us. I think, yeah. I think we'll do it. So we will see. We will post the, the video about how it's going on the live without no drink. But actually, if you guys know of anything to do on the weekends in New York City without drinking, please let us know because yeah. when we Googled it, just they Google <laughs> That's a whole other video. Just Google things, sober things to do in New York City at night. But look it up and you guys find out for yourself. Today is Dia de Reyes, also I want to say, and this is the Reyes gift for uh, Gordina, se llama, that's her name. So Bruno love it, but she's so nice. Yeah. Well, he, Bruno, calls it Gordina. he calls it, he calls her Gordina, because <laughs> Bruno's first ever toy that he had, Victor Dina. actually got him, was a little blue dinosaur named Dina, and he completely, he, she's made it a long time. Yeah, she's still, she, she's, she's right there, can, you, can you bring Dina? All right. Come, Dina! <laughs> so this is Dina. Hi, Dina, mi amor! Mugroso. <laughs> Mugrosina. <laughs> so this is Dina. This is like his favorite toy. He's had her for like since... We got, got him in April? You got him in April? Yeah. Yeah, so he's had her since April and it's now January. Almost a full year, so... <laughs> anyone that owns a dog knows <laughs> toys lasting for almost a year is very rare. So we're, we're happy that Dina's still here, but now she is a cousin. Gordina. Gordina. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> well, okay. Get back to the point. Uh, how we met. So, the whole reason, yeah. How we met. Um, so, do you, you want to start? We are neighbors. Basically. We are neighbors. Basically. That's the first reason. He looks yes. like... He, yeah. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> two blocks away. We live two blocks from each other. Yeah, which is very right. convenient. Yeah. It's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Very dangerous. But also very convenient because we pretty much live together. Yeah. But we don't live together. But also we live together. Yeah, because I mean, I forget something in my house is not like this deal. That oh, I have to go all the way to my house. No, you have to go all the way down those stairs. It's ah. Oh. I live on the sixth floor. Walk up. Uh, let's the things begin about how we met. Right. <laughs> so let's just jump right into it. All right. So we met on my mom's birthday. Oh, in his mom's birthday. Yeah, so I can never forget September the day 8th. that we met. September 18th. Yes. We Happy met. birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, mom. <laughs> Getting it on your birthday. <laughs> so we met on my mom's birthday, September 18th, 2018. And we met in, a, in, a, in an app. An app. We won't say what app. Just an app. But if you can... You can <laughs> no, you don't get it. It's not scruff. <laughs> it's not girl. It's not boy hoy. It's not no thing there. What's the what's the other thousands? They have so many. Apps well, okay, now. in one app. All right, one of, one of those apps. So and we, then we met on the app. He invited me for a movie. 
No, you asked if I wanted to go see a movie. Or you asked if I wanted to see a movie. Yeah. My lazy ass thought that you want to go see a movie. Yeah, it's true. I had just taken a shower. I just I was in bed, cuddled up under my sheets, and I was like, I'm not going anywhere. But this cute guy wants to go see a movie. If he wants to go see a movie, I'll go see a freaking movie. And then Especially he, because he lives like in the sky. 20 in the, in the, live, in the live, sky. Live in the he sky. lives on the sky. It's like, what do you think? Like two kilometers from here, the floor from here American, to here? I know miles. It's see, oh yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we were watching Eliza. I was telling people about work. I don't, yeah. I don't it's a, it's a stand up comedian. Well, She's okay. hilarious. She's a comedian. Whatever. It's a lot of Watch her new stand Six floors. Yeah. Six floors. I was like, I want to go to a movie theater, but six floors? Well, you didn't, know, you didn't know about the floor. No, no but when floor. I get here and I and I met you, uh, we were supposed. I was supposed to pick you up and then let's go, but no, we didn't. Well, I thought you wanted to go see a movie at first, and then you mentioned, you were like, oh, so my place or yours, and immediately I was like, oh, he wants to do an inside movie. <laughs> I'm down for this. I mean, I'm down for a movie. And we didn't have the opportunity to talk. <laughs> no, we. So we. No, no. I, I we mean, to talk about. We technically talked a month before when I first moved because I had just moved to the neighborhood. We talked. Williamsburg, before, Brooklyn. But I was I was just moving in, getting settled. I didn't even have a bed yet, so it was like that. I have something right here. It was like that. Get it? Get it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> he took my eye. Uh huh. So I had just gotten to bed. We had, you know, it was still fresh in the neighborhood. I was still getting settled. So we didn't. Nothing really happened. We messaged. I was like, I'm moving in. Da da da. Yeah. Flash forward a month later is when we actually reconnected. Yeah. And then true. we finally met. Yeah. So he came over. Because I was like, again, I had just taken a shower. I'm lazy. I'm not getting out of bed. You can come over. <laughs> and he shows up. And I was just like... <laughs> now, I, I, he was cute in his pictures. But as you can see... Uh, I'm he's, he's cute. Well, he's you can't so see in person. He's cute on camera, but he's much cuter in person. Yeah, so I, when I, I opened that door and I immediately was like... And I did the same thing. I did exactly the same thing. Like, <gasps> who is this guy? He's so handsome. He's so beautiful. Like, it's not your smile. And your then eyes. nothing happened because we're both children of God. And we made sure that we <laughs> left room for Jesus while we were in bed. <laughs> Blasphemo. Uh-huh. So we, we just thought. We talked. Deep talk. No, we watched our movie. Long conversation. We watched long, our movie. long, long conversation. And honestly, it was pretty all much. All night conversation. All night, yeah. All night. Yeah, yeah. all night Very conversation. We talked a lot. But it's true. Yeah, it's true. So, different languages, you yeah. know, like. But so, flash forward to the next morning. We pretty much spent every day after that together. Yeah, I mean, it's been really beautiful time, especially because we've been learning a lot from each other. That's one of the most beautiful things what I have. And also, you speak two languages, and I and me too. You know, I speak Spanish you and better, English. You better than me. You speak Spanish and English too. So for me, the my first language is not English. The fact that he speaks in Spanish to help me a lot to understand what's going on in our relationship, how we can, you know, figure out the things each other and learn every day more and more, right? Yeah, so you get to learn more about each other's languages, each other's cultures, the different things, just different walks of life. Yeah. So just, it's really interesting. It's cool. It adds that extra fun layer on a relationship because I get to learn about him. But also everything that comes with him, his, you know, culture, different things that I didn't grow up with as an American that he did. Yeah. Also, just like daily, daily thing, you know, like how one girl was asking us about how we cook. What is the, the, 
what is the dishes where we cook when we cook you know like what is um what language we speak so we speak we speak spanglish <laughs> We, as a couple, speak Spanglish. He sí. speaks to me in Spanish, Todo I answer back in English. Todo el tiempo. And I love it. how it works. Yeah. Me encanta. when he speaks Spanish, it helps me out with my Spanish, with my, you know, auditory Spanish. So I get to, you know, kind of perfect my Spanish, and he gets to perfect his English. But still have that extra comfort of being able to speak your native language, yeah. mm -hmm. and the other person still understand you. Now, there's some learning curves, because as any of you language learners, specifically Spanish language learners, may know, each Latin American country is different. different. They all have their certain slang words. Slang. And Mexico in general. Mexico have the most beautiful slang. No. The most beautiful <laughs> slang. But also the most, <laughs> let's call it decorative. The most decorative. Yeah. It's a lot of things to say. Hold on. Let me. But re really the whole point is we get to learn more about each other. And I think that's really beautiful and it's really exciting. Uh, just being part of an inter interracial relationship. Yeah. Like you said, the dishes that we made, we get to fuse some of my, I'm from, originally from Mississippi. So I get to fuse like my Southern style of cooking with this Mexican style of cooking. And I think we make a pretty good team. Yeah. We, oh, we should do like a couple, a couple cook off. Yeah. Like a couple cook off. Okay. A couple cook off. Okay. A couple cook off. <laughs> a couple cook off. Kakakov cough. That's good. That's good. Where we and another couple, or two other couples, who knows, uh -huh. makes a dish, and then we have someone judge it to see. I will make some chorizo. But no, it has to be like a no? mix. It has to be like a mixture of like something you and I are like. Oh yeah, because this is what this is like a fusion so of he, southern and Mexican, and then another couple. Another it has to be another interracial. The couple. other day, any other interracial couples out there that are in New York City, bring it on. Challenge you. We can cook better than you. Let's do it. <laughs> because it's like uh, mix, mix food. Yeah. I make the other day chiles toreados with it, just jalapeño slices with. Uh, with cebolla, with onion too, onion. slices, with a little bit of lime, salt, and that's it. With oil, salted, and you add, what do you make? Uh, yeah, it was something from, like, ribs. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, we are like a thing. <laughs> Probably some Old Bay seasoning, who knows? If you don't know Old Bay's, or any of that, look it up, look it up. Slap your mama. Yeah. Louisiana food. Louisiana. You're not from Mississippi. So we yeah, I'm from Mexico, that, Puebla. Right? We won't go into that. I'm from Mexico, Puebla. Benedito, Universidad Autónoma de Puebla. No sé por qué siempre digo eso. You always do that. I don't know. I don't every know why. I love name. my university. Every time you say your school name, but your voice drops. So Benedito, Universidad Autónoma de Puebla. You have to say it really like. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why. I love it. It's like. Does everyone do that? Part of me. No, it's just me. Me understand. I went to Pace University. <laughs> I still owe those bitches a lot of money. Grossel. Uh huh. <laughs> anyway, I have here the first picture. So I, you're new. The first picture. So this is how we kind of knew that we were going to be together, but we didn't know we were going to be together. We took pictures together in bed the very next morning. Who does that? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to show that the first picture in bed, but I have the picture when I, well... No, but I, I will say, I remember going in the next day and telling my coworkers that there was this really cute guy, and they were like, oh, show us what he looked like. And instead of going to the app, which won't be named, yeah. I showed them pictures <laughs> of us. Like, it was just like from here. Yes. Like us, Sophie, laying in bed, and they were like, you guys what? took selfies together? Yeah. On the first day, I was like, yeah, what's what, what's wrong with that? Tori, are you are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy, right? Also for me, especially this, because we meet in social media. Well, for me, I would say sh shamelessly, the reason I did it because I was like, this guy's fucking hot, so I get a picture with him. Me too. I was like, like, I have proofs. I have proofs. Look what I did last night. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the picture while I was walking with you to the... Uh, well, in addition... Oh, that's what, when I was walking you yeah. home? 
No, I walked to you to the train. I walked with you to the train. Ah, because I had to go to work the next morning. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you, you walked me to the train. I have this. Well, no, so the whole thing was I was going to walk with you. Mira, mira, mira. I don't know like that. Wow, very, wow. Can't believe I did that. Oh, my hair was, I, sh I, did, I should have gotten a haircut at least before I, I didn't know you were coming over. La pelucita. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, here we are, te amo un buen. a year and a half later, <laughs> with a lot more pictures. A lot of more and pictures videos. and videos and YouTube channel, Instagram. Follow Victorian on Instagram, the same as like Vic. Victor, Torian, so. put it together, Victorian. Or as I used to say, which actually, he actually didn't know this until recently. So when I first moved to New York City, for some reason, people couldn't say my name. So I met this girl named Omnia, and she had this, I forget what you called it, like Omnia. a... Omnia. Uh, no, Insomnia. Sonophone. Whatever. It's, it's something where you can, you use something to correlate another word. So her name, she would say, my name is Omnia, like insomnia. So people would know, oh, so she came, up one with, she came up with one for me. So I always said, my name is Torian, like Victorian without the Vic. So when we started dating, it was like this funny little, oh, I got my Vic. Yeah. And he didn't, I, he didn't, he didn't get it. I didn't that. know that. When I was like, oh, the, we were coming up with like ideas for the channel or like the, the, um, the Instagram page. I was like, oh, Victorian. And I didn't, it didn't click for me right then, but I kind of like... No, we figured it out like, together, the Victorian. We were like playing with the words. I remember because we were just right here and we were playing together. I'm Victorian. We, what do we do? And then... You tell me that, that what you say before. No, I, no so, you didn't know that part until we were at uh, with your friend Dan. Like a few, yeah, 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 a few weeks ago. Yeah. Like, yeah, recently, like how you introduced, uh, like, oh, I'm a big third. I was the, like, the big. I finally got my big. I <laughs> But yeah, so <laughs> that's how we met a year and a half ago, almost. So yeah. almost yeah, a year and a half ago. Wow. Crazy. Wow. Here we are in 2020. We met 2018 and here we are in 2020. <gasps> well, what is that? No, no. <laughs> I just came from the gym, so. <laughs> well, yeah, you did go to the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at those. Put those guns away. A little bit of here. Conejo Blas, a donde vas? <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel because of why the hell not. Follow us on social media at Torian underscore. ¿Por qué hice eso? Arroba Victor Luna 19. <laughs> we'll put the links down in the description yes. because you probably don't know what we're saying. Or how we spell because, you know, Definitely it's so... If you can't spell Torian without looking at the... Yeah. I put leave a comment, let us know if you guys want to know a little more, but don't be nasty. If you guys... No. <laughs> <laughs> leave a comment, let us know if you guys want us want to know something. Maybe we'll do a video on it. If you guys want to see us do something, we've actually been thinking about doing a challenge video. But I'm not doing anything spicy because he's Mexican and that's not fair because his culture thrives on eating spicy food. And while I kind of do too... Nah, it's not gonna happen. Okay, see you guys. Until next time, catch mm -hmm. you later. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.